Fluorescine stains and illuminates any portion of the cornea where the epithelium has been damaged. It typically comes on single-use strips, but can also be present in multi-dose vials. Do not apply the fluorescine to a suspected infected eye and then use the same strip for the other eye as this can result in nitrogenic transmission of infection. Another word of caution is to ensure you remove the patient's contact lenses prior to applying fluorescine as this will cause permanent staining of the contact. To apply fluorescine, add a single drop of anesthetic or saline to the tip of the fluorescine strip. Retract the lower eyelid with your finger and touch the fluorescein strip gently against the palpebral conjunctiva. Do not touch the fluorescein strip directly on the cornea or conjunctiva as this will cause a corneal or conjunctival abrasion. Now ask the patient to blink multiple times to allow for the stain to distribute evenly across the surface of the eye. A common mistake is placing too much fluorescein into the eye which causes the entire tear film to become illuminated. This makes it difficult to visualize small lesions. If this occurs, have the patient blink multiple times and try and clear the fluorescein. At times, placing one to two drops of saline into the eye may be required. Once the stain has been applied, evaluate the eye with a cobalt blue light, either with a woods lamp or slit lamp to identify any corneal abrasions. Have the patient look up and down and left and right. A corneal defect will appear, will appear yellow under the cobalt blue light. 